Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, and today we're going to visit our Egyptian goose. Today we have four of these birds in Cota de Casa. They can always be found hanging out together on our golf course water holes. Last year we only had two of them, so maybe next year we'll have eight. Anyway, first, the Egyptian goose is not a goose. True geese only come from the genera Anser, like our lesser snow goose, or Branta, like our Canada goose. So although the Egyptian goose it shares a lot of goose-like appearances, like he's somewhat tall, large, has a stretched out neck, even flies like a goose, this bird is actually a duck. It has a scientific name, Alipotion aegyptiaca, and it comes from the family Anatidae, which includes our ducks, geese, and even swans. So unlike other Anatidae birds, these guys do not migrate, but they live year-round in their homes, like here in Cota de Casa. And like our other ducks, our Egyptian goose is an omnivore. He eats both grasses, aquatic vegetation, and invertebrates, especially freshwater plankton. The males and the females, they look alike, but the males might be a little bigger. And the one on the right here looks like the male, and the one on the left is smaller, probably a female. And there's typically a lot of variation in the plumage colors and patterns, even among their close relatives. So the easiest way to tell the individuals apart that I found is to take a look at the markings on their bellies. So this one here has a rather large marking. This guy over here has almost no markings at all, as you can tell. And this one over here has a little bit of a smaller marking. All right? So like geese, and unlike ducks, they are monogamous and they usually mate for life. Now the male and the female voices are different. The male has a hoarse, duck-like quack that he seldom uses unless he's alarmed or when he's courting a female. And the female has a noisier, raucous quack that she uses all the time in aggression. You also always seem to hear them honking or quacking in flight as well. So a large part of their wings here is white, but it's actually covered by wing coverts, except when they're flying. And you can see the white, or when they get aroused or alarmed, they'll spread out their wings in aggression. And they tend to get most aggressive during mating season or when protecting their ducklings. And our Egyptian goose is native to a lot of Africa, mostly in the Nile Valley and south of the Sahara. In fact, it is the most common bird species in sub-Saharan Africa. They were considered sacred and even domesticated by ancient Egyptians and appeared in much of their artwork. Now they became very popular as a European ornamental bird and established themselves in England, Denmark, and Northern Europe sometime in the 1700s. And in America, domestic and zoo escapees have found their way to Florida, Texas, and even here in California at Cota de Casa. Now it's genus Alipotion, it literally means fox goose in Greek, referring to the ruddy color on its back. And the species Egyptiaca, it comes from the Latin word for Egypt. Now the Egyptian goose, it comes from the group of ducks called shell ducks which are considered somewhat between a duck and a goose, and they come from Europe, Asia, and Africa. And here are some examples of shell ducks. We got the common shell duck, the South African shell duck, the paradise shell duck, and a few others. So although a lot of people think this bird is very pretty and interesting, it's actually really a big problem. It is very aggressive and invasive to other birds, eating a lot of food and taking over their nesting spots in the reeds, they're very successful breeders, and the local birds and animals are not really sure what to do with them. So given enough time, they'll push out our other birds and basically take over all of our golf course lakes. Now in Europe, they are considered an alien species of union concern, and in England, you can even shoot them without any reason. Now the Egyptian goose has also hybridized with other duck species, and even geese, to come up with some really interesting looking birds. So here is a cross between an Egyptian goose and a mallard. On the left here is a cross between a ruddy shell duck and an Egyptian goose. And in the center is our Egyptian goose, and on the right is a ruddy shell duck. All right, well, there you go. That's our Egyptian goose all the way from Africa. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.